We'll start with the Mustard R75 size 8 streamer hook. This is the Sinfoil Fry. We've got glow bite number 3, red floss. So we attach this just a wee ways behind the hook eye. And we want to go back to about there. And remove that and just tag that end in. We want a length of Unimailer, holographic silver, or whatever colour you would like the body to be. So we just tack this in here. Leave enough here so you can easily trim it off afterwards. And we go back over the red a little ways. Then we can wrap this over the whole body. This is just to give the underbody a uh, silver flashy effect. Uh, the original had flat silver tinsel and a polythene strip wrapped over the body. So we go back to about just after the hook point and then we can go forward again. It's not uh, imperative that this is all neat because we're going to cover this with pearl tinsel. So we go all the way up here again. Into here and then I can wrap back. Tie that off. Two or three turns. And do us there. And we can remove both that. And that. Then we need some pearl uh, UTC ice blue tinsel, medium. We'll just tie this in here again. Two or three turns and then we can cover the whole body with this. This gives an extra icy blue flash. It's an extremely robust pattern this. Uh, it's uh, more or less indestructible once it's tied correctly. And we go back over here again. Over the tinsel and back up. Into the red floss which is to imitate the blood filled gills of a fleeing bait fish. And we can re -wap that again and then we'll tie that in like so that'll do us and we can trim these off to come up there for that one let's turn my vice around that one off there got a little bit of a floss thing going on there, that'll do me. And then I want to just build up this floss red gill. And I go back to there. Then we'll just give the body a little coat of UV resin. Once you've given that a coat and a blast, then we can let's just get that out of the way. Then we can just build up this gill area, flatten our thread again, and we'll just go over that. Make sure it's nice and relatively even. Oops. And we go forward. Uh, we want a nice elongated black head on this. So we take our 
whip finisher first and I'll make a three turn whip finish in that just to secure that red floss now we'll trim that off and go over to our black tine thread start at the hook eye we'll make our way back to back there and then go forward again remove that control our thread and we go back into the red then what we need is a mallard flank and what we do with this is we pull the fibres out like this 90 degrees from the stem so we level up the tips here as much as we can then we strip that off and we fold it twice and we can just wet our fingers to tame the fibres as much as possible that will do us and we place this on the hook shank so it's a little longer now we want a pinch wrap here put it on top of the hook shank that will do us and then we'll just secure it two or three turns just wet it down again keep it in position then we need our scissors and trim that off at an angle we start at the hook eye and work our way up over the trimmed ends make sure you cover them all so you get a, a very dense black head this is good make sure you've got the black head on the other side as well that you've not missed any there we go that's perfect take our whip finisher and we'll just put a couple of whip finishes in there and we'll trim off tying thread take a drop of UV resin and we just give the head a coat we want a very shiny black head on this and again I find it much easier to use a dubbing needle to apply the UV resin than straight from the tube it's much more precise That's looking good. So we'll give that a blast with the torch. Looking good. Now I've got some glow in the dark green UV resin, in which I just want to put a drop on each side like so give that a blast you can use tape eyes if you wish good and I've got some black UV resin just put a little drop in the center of the eye with and give that a blast once your wings been wet it'll stay in position and it will fall when fished it will fall flat just over the body like that 
and that's the Sinfoil Fry. It's a great pattern, very simple, very robust. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.